What's up everybody, it's your man, I do a barber, and today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to zero gap your detachable blades and a few other tips and tricks. Let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before we get into the video, uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to this channel already. Got plenty and tons of barbering videos. If you love barbering, wanna learn something about barbering, you know, help a brother out initiative. If you don't know, and if you do know, many of you know me as the guy that loves to fade with the detachable blades. I incorporate them into just about every haircut that I do on a day-to-day -day basis. And I get a, it seems like I get a common question. And there's a theme between these common questions. One is, how is it fading with the detachable blades? I have many of tutorials on those, so to go check a playlist. Two, why did I zero gap my detachable blades? And more importantly, how do you do that? And three, are the ceramic blades good? These things right here. And we're gonna answer these questions. So first question, how do I fade with the detachable blades? My first recommendation is have a system and then stick to the system and you'll get more comfortable with it and you'll learn the detachable blades. Question number two, how do you zero gap the detachable blades? It's actually quite simple and I'm kind of curious why do people ask me this question all the time? It's quite simple. If you take a look at most adjustable clippers, they'll have two screws here. As you can see, this one has two screws. And all you do simply is loosen these screws, push this blade down, and then you can zero gap your adjustable clipper. Same thing applies with the detachable blades. If you look here, this is the triple zero blade here. And you see that it has two screws right there. It's very simple. This one, if you look closely, it is not zero gapped, as you can see. But we're gonna zero gap this today. So, you're gonna take your screwdriver and you are going to loosen these screws. You don't wanna take them out. You simply want to loosen the screws. That's all you wanna do here. And once that is done, you're simply going to push this blade up. There we are, that's zero gapped. So if you can see that, that is zero gapped. So now all I'm gonna do simply is tighten up the screws. And just by that one simple turn, I felt the bracket tightened already. As you saw, typically with a trimmer, you will press it down like this and then tighten the screws. I didn't even have to do this with the detachable. Uh, it, it's, it's quite simple, actually. Now, here's one key to note. One key to note when zero gap and detachable blades. Unlike a trimmer or an adjustable, you are, you're gonna wrench those things down like quite a bit. Now this thing, this bracket, is also applying tension to this blade. If you tighten this too much, it can affect the performance of your blade and your blade can actually start to sound a little bit weird. Now this is the tricky part why I don't recommend that everyone does the zero gap of your blades is because what happens is, if you tighten them too much, they'll start to sound funny, perform a little bit funky. If you don't tighten them enough, you might end up cutting hair and then your bracket's just loose and this is completely loose. This has happened to me a few times and it still happened to me on occasion where every once in a while I'll hear it and it's just like a car, guys. Like if you drive your car every day, if something sounds a little bit funky, you know, you pop the hood, you check out what's going on. So same thing with this. If you if you hear the thing cutting and it doesn't, doesn't sound like normal, check it. See if it's loose, tighten it up if necessary, and then go back to your normal day-to-day -day business. But that's just one key to note. Be careful not to tighten them too much and not tighten them enough. As you can see there, that triple zero is zero gapped. Here's one beautiful thing about zero gapping your outliner through your triple zero blades. Here you see I have the five zero, zero and the triple zero. Once you zero gap these, you could probably see that they cut a lot closer. Seeing how the closer you bring these up, the, the closer they will cut. They actually cut really close and they're really good for balding out. It'll save you time and it'll save you wear and tear in your trimmers. Remember that. Another question that I get with zero gap in the detachable blades is, does it affect the overall length of the blade? Yes and no. It's very simple. Look at the blade that you are actually planning to zero gap, just like if you look at a trimmer. If you zero gap a trimmer, the closer that cutting blade goes up to the steel blade, the less room and the less hair that will be cut. So imagine this is a triple zero, which is typically what is on an adjustable clipper. Uh, if you talk about the masters, they close to a triple zero. So if you look here closely, you'll see that blade tapers off there. See that? 
and as that blade tapers off, it gets shorter. So if I were to push this cutting blade down, the length of this will go from a 0.5 because this is a 0.5. The more you push it down, the longer it will become. Now, here's one other thing to note. Look at the blades there. You see these, the teeth on here? Some teeth are more shallow than others. On this one, they're not too deep. So you see the amount of room that you have to play with the cutting blade. You could zero gap it all the way up here to the top, or you could bring it all the way down to the bottom of those teeth, which means by looking at the side here, that length will get bigger the more you push the blade down. And of course it will cut shorter the more you bring that blade up to the top. Now let's look at a few of the other blades that this will also affect. It will affect the OA. So if you look at the OA here, look at the teeth and how deep they are. Look at the side. You can see there that this blade tapers off as well. It gets smaller towards the tip. So the more you bump this up, the shorter the length will become. And of course, if you lower this, it will get a little bit lower. Let's look at the one. The one is the same way. Look at the teeth, turn it to the side. That blade tapers off at the end, which means it's gonna get a little bit longer if you bump that down and of course shorter as you bump it up. Same thing, a lot of teeth. Key to note, look how deep the teeth are. And look at the side. Now, of course, you look at this one, it slightly tapers off at the end, so it won't affect too much. Here's one important thing to remember when you're zero gapping the detachable blades, especially once you get past the lengths of the five zero to the triple zero, once you get into the OA to one A territory, or even the one and a half or any of those lengths, here's one thing that you need to look at. If you look here at the one and a half and the one A, you will see that there is an edge there. You see that edge? where it just tapers off completely and it like, it falls off a cliff. Sort of like what Max Kellerman says about Tom Brady's career, he's gonna fall off a cliff. You see that cliff where the edge of the ceramic cutting blade is? You can't push that past that point. You do not wanna go past that point because you're gonna be losing performance of your blade and it's not gonna cut well. So don't go past that point. Typically, uh, some of these will not even allow you to go that far, but that's just one thing to know. You only wanna bump it up to that edge, as close to that edge as you can, and that is it. Now, I know what you might be wondering, where is the note? Okay, here's where the note comes into place. Once you start to get to the one and a half blade, once you get to the one and a half blade, you will look here at this blade, look at the side. As you can see, the, the teeth are very deep on this blade. Turn it to the side here, you can see that this blade does not taper off. It actually gets a little bit longer if you just look at the thickness of the side profile of this blade it gets a little bit thicker but if you look at the area of how deep the teeth are see how far they go down before you can see the dark line there where you know it stops and look at the side no matter what you do with this blade it's not gonna affect the length so this is where the no comes into play now to the last question why did I buy the Endix ceramic blade cutters or did I swap them? Now, here's the thing. You obviously noticed that these are the Super ZRs by Andis. I love these clippers, got two pair. And I have Oster blades. If you look there closely, that's an Oster blade. All of my blades are Oster blades. If you didn't know, these blades are interchangeable. So you can use these Oster blades on Oster detachables. You can use them on the Andes detachables and you can use them even on the wall detachables. They're all pretty much interchangeable. You can use the Andes on the Oster and vice versa. So it's very universal when it comes to these detachable blades. But the question is, why did I do it? I did not buy the Andes ceramic. When I was in Barber College, they issued all of us detachable blades with the 76er, and they encouraged that we fade with the detachable blades. And I was just a little curious to see if these cut better because of course people, you see people putting the ceramics on the fast feeds, you see some people put the ceramics on the wall magic clips, the court seniors, things like this. And I was just curious to see if it would actually perform. And of course, it's a little bit cheaper to buy the cutting blade if you already have the detachable blades and put them on here versus buying an entire new set of detachable blades because that can run you upwards of two to 300 plus dollars buying a, an entire new set of detachable blades. And I didn't want to do that. I figured it's a lot cheaper to just buy 
each individual cutting blade for 10 bucks. Now here's one thing you need to know if you plan on doing this, if you have detachable blades already and you're just curious to use the ceramic cutting blades. You will need the fine cutting blades for the outliner to the triple zero and you will need a coarse cutting blade for the OA and above as you can see there. Now, you might be wondering why and blah, 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 but allow me to show you the difference. As you see here, triple zero and the OA blade. If you look closely at the cutting teeth on both of these blades, they're actually quite different. If you look here, the triple zero, the blade here, it has a lot of cutting teeth and it's really small. But if you look at the OA on the other hand, the teeth, there's not as many teeth and that blade is a lot thicker. So if you get a little side profile, you can see how much thicker that is compared to the, the triple zero. And that's gonna be the difference because here's one thing you need to remember. This OA cutting blade will not fit on this and vice versa. So you want to buy the correct blades for each individual blade that you plan on using them for. Now, in my overall experience, do I like them or do I feel that they cut differently? Slightly different, I do like them, but honestly, I'm not sure if there's a big difference. I'm just gonna be honest. I don't see a, a huge difference. Maybe I need to do a side-by-side -side comparison nowadays because it's been a few years since I've done this, so maybe that's in order. But I do like it. Overall, I do like it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know there's gonna be someone in the comments that might be curious about this. Do the ceramic blades not make your detachable blades get hot as fast? No, they still get hot just as fast. Last part of the video, I'm gonna show you how to swap these blades out without going through the headache and heartache that I went through when switching my blades out. So now, how do you swap out your ceramic blade with your metal cutting blade? Here we go. Screwdriver, blades, comb. Easy work. I'm gonna explain why I'm using the comb here in a second. Not everyone will need a comb. The only reason I have the comb here is if you have two sets of blades like I do, and you want to switch one out, you will need the comb. If you're actually just switching your ceramic blades out, and maybe you're gonna toss out the other ones or maybe sit them somewhere, you do not need the comb. But allow me to show you. So, we want to put a ceramic blade on this one. So we're basically just gonna take this one off of this one and put it onto this one. So, on these blades, if you didn't know, you can slide this blade across. So as you see here, see how you could just slide that off over to the side. Now this is good because if you do a lot of cutting with your detachable blades, you can clean them easily. Cause there's a lot of gunk that gets in here and there's a lot of gunk that gets back here. So you could slide these from side to side and clean behind there. Or you could just use blade wash. But for the purpose of today's video, we're going to slide that over to the side just like that sit this to the side, and we're gonna do the same thing with this one. We're gonna just simply slide this one out. That's actually quite tough. I've got that tightened down quite a bit. Now, here's where the comb comes into play. If you're taking your detachable blades off, now, you could loosen the screws and take some of the tension off of this bracket because if you didn't know, the more you tighten these screws, the more tension will be put on this bracket, which is like I said earlier, you don't wanna to put too much tension because it will perform not so well and then not enough because then the blade might just like shoot out all of a sudden, I've seen that happen. Now, reason for the comb. I'm going to put this comb right under here, just like that. You see that? I put the comb right there. Reason is, I could loosen the screws and take it out easily and effortlessly and don't have to worry about putting this ridiculous comb right here, but I don't wanna mess the length up. If you are happy and content with the length that your blades are set at, do not loosen the screws because you know what's gonna happen. You're gonna to have to reset your screws. And if you remember, like I said earlier, the 1A and all the way below, if you unloosen the screws and adjust it up and down, it will affect the overall length. So if you're happy with the length of those blades, do not loosen the screws and do what I'm doing right now. Because I'm gonna explain uh, and show you, well no, I'm not gonna show you. I'll explain why you don't wanna do that. Now, simply, boom, out. And we're just gonna sit this to the side right here. We'll come back to this later. As you see, we slid this over to the side just like that. And we're just gonna simply insert this into there. So as you see, 
boom, the two are married and all you're gonna do is push. You're gonna pull that out and now put the new blade in place as so. So now you have a completely ceramic blade. We will now put this onto a clipper. There you are, there you have it. Sounds normal, performs normal. Now let me explain why you do not want to take out the blade completely because there's so much tension on this. This bracket and this little rubber stopper, whatever this thing is, this is gonna collapse to the blade. And once that happens, it's a pain in the ass to lift back up. I literally had to get a pair of pliers and pry it back up and then insert the blade. This is why you have the comb here. Now, of course, if you don't care about the length or the length changing, of course, go ahead, by all means, go ahead and loosen the damn screws, go ahead. But if you don't wanna go through this headache and heartache like I did and mess with the adjustments of your blades, use the comb. I hope I've answered everyone's questions in this video today. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll, I guess I'll be happy to answer them, but don't forget to subscribe, share this video, give it a like, and yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one. It's been your man, I do a signing out. I'll holla.